to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be Fighting Spirit Game 3 of the first set between Striker and Seriosity. Upper right-hand corner this time, we have Striker. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Seriosity. And Seriosity, last match, trying to go for a 12 Nexus. Got caught with his pants down. Overlord's in position. And he, honestly, I feel like he still might have been able to press and salvage it if he had the probes in position. And if he had done a good job of just pushing those Zerglings back off the cannon line. However, in his engagement, ended up allowing the Zerglings pass. They got right on top of that cannon and were able to do, not just take out that first cannon, but get on top of that second cannon, do sufficient damage there, and then four Zerglings making it into the main. And without... And honestly, the probe count was just absolutely obliterated. Seriosity having some trouble microing. I'm actually curious what time of day they played this as well. I will say this, Seriosity has a, as far as a best of seven of seven sets, there's plenty of opportunity for Seriosity to even play. I don't even know if they tried to do it all at once. I hope they didn't do it all at once. First scout again, by the way, from Seriosity going the upright in corner. Map hacks, clearly. Does have a pylon on that front door, prepared for uh, something, I assume, standard in the midst of this, but already getting harassment. Does, in fact, see... The overpool once again from Striker. It looks like that has been his standard opener in each of these sets. Which does not surprise me at all. But point being, if he has trouble with the first set, could be, you know, just wait to until the next day to play the next set. And be a little bit fresher. Get a little bit more sleep. Ponder things over. That is the advantage of doing this grueling tournament. Is if you don't... You're not up to your opponent's par the first set. You have lots of time to think about it and improve and grind into the next set. Forge on the front door. Overlord's going to spot this overhead. So at least it's seeing, okay, that's Forge first and not Nexus first. Hatchery plopping down. Probe not quite able to get in the way, but it has snuck away with some minerals in the midst of this. And we just see single Zerglings being created. Nexus is warping in. Seriosity. He's going to warp down a preventative cannon. And Hawk. Sorry, Hawk. <laughs> Ignore that I said that. Striker. Did I say Hawk in the, pre the previous two matches? I really hope not. Aside from mentioning Hawk's prowess in the NA scene. NA Zergs, I tell you. 12 o'clock location. Striker grabbing that base. Ignore that I said that. We'll strike it from the record. Mostly it's... Uh... <laughs> Compliment both directions to both the players. They're both amazing Zerg. They do have... I think I think there is slight distinction, though. I feel like Hawk likes playing a little bit more catcher style. I think Striker likes pulling the gun a little bit more. Likes finding the opportunities to... If his opponent doesn't build cannons, he goes... Yeah, that's my feeling on things. I feel like Hawk also does a little bit better at getting his army in position at times. Striker sometimes gets caught off guard in that aspect. Not that it matters in this match. Well, it will matter in this match if it comes up. We'll see. Anyway, layer morphing. Just the two Zerglings having some trouble. The probe eating a little bit of shield damage. And a bit of a scuffle. Drone just letting him know he's not welcome here. Gateway out on the front. We do see that assimilator up. And a cybernetic score warping in before Zealot. To get an extra jump on potential tech going to be speedy. I think he realizes he can he can manage that. Especially with this layer timing. I think this is going to be... We'll see if it ends up being three hatch layer. I feel like the advantage of going this three hatch slash four hatch style. And actually, the other advantage of this is you can kind of keep that probe scout alive. You can just let that probe wander around. It can see that layer finishing, but without knowing what the tech commitment is. So you lose, you lose a little bit of surprise as far as like the 973 goes. But as long as you don't show that fourth hatchery immediately, and even then when you do, it can put your opponent in a bit of a difficult situation. Stargate. Overlord actually walking in for Striker, seeing the Stargate morphing in. Still no Zealot on the front. Or did I miss the Zealots moving out? Sorry, one Zealot moved out. The Zerglings engaged, but only one Zealot this entire time. Second Zealot now being produced from Seriosity. He did grab that second Assimilator, which... Leads me to believe he's going to go some Bisu buildish variation. He's definitely going to go potentially Corsair Doc Templar. Maybe get a jump on the High Templar in the mid game. 
especially after seeing how important High Templar were in the previous match. Spire morphing, looking to see if Striker opts for that fourth hatchery or if he is going to dedicate to three hatch play, trying to keep an eye on that front door. The Zerglings currently in position, cannon in preventatively for Seriosity at both locations just in case he needs a cannon. And the Corsair about halfway finished, so he should be able to go ahead and get that scout out. Also another preventative pylon just in case, because here's the thing, that natural expansion is very harassable by Mutalists. Very harassable by Mutalists. It looks like Striker is going to go ahead and place that fourth hatchery at that 12 o'clock location. I kind of like it at that 12 o'clock base, just because the Corsair takes a longer period of time. That's not usually where you send that first Corsair. Oftentimes you send it to the main. So it takes a little bit longer to see whether it's a three hatch or four hatch, and actually it's going to be five hatchery. So Evolution Chamber on the front. The Corsair, I like that Seriosity sends it to the natural expansion kind of at the point of contact immediately. He knows he has a few seconds to scoot around before the Scourger in his face. Able to get a good look at that drone saturation. Also sees that second extractor going up. And he's going to be able to wander up and see that he's in fact moving into five hatch play. So it's going to be similar to game one potentially. First Dark Templar being produced. There's no Overlord to help to defend these Zerglings. So that is going to give Seriosity some breathing room on the front. And it looks like he is continuing to build Corsairs. He's also getting that Zealot leg speed, though, to follow up. So, And a handful of Mutalisks are being produced by Striker. So despite going into five hatch play, again trying to keep his opponent off balance, he is, in fact, upon seeing a lack of additional Corsair, building a handful of Mutalisks, that Dark Templar getting five kills immediately and wandering out in the field. Only a few Scourge, but the Scourge haven't positioned up to get the additional scouting information. The Zealot's now moving out. Sunken Colony to SimCity at Striker's Natural Expansion. This is one thing that Striker excels at, is making very difficult to penetrate bases and just really nice SimCities. However, the Stark Templar able to get that 12 o'clock. It's going to eat some Sunken Colony, but is going to at least get a drone kill. Two drone kills. And now getting a little bit of additional damage on the Hatchery. And the Zealot's moving up as well. Striker, not very responsive. And the Mutalist actually, finally, okay, finally the Mutalist's engaging, but not before significant damage was done. At the 12 o'clock base, both in mining time and in drone kills. Oops, sorry about that. You guys see my taskbar? So the Zealot finally getting picked off, but that delayed a hatchery. A lot of drones died in the midst of this. And on top of that, Seriosity has not tipped his hand, but he's in fact going level one weapons and going Corsair to follow this up with strong air control. And the Mutalisks are diving forward to potentially just get obliterated. Seriosity, a little bit of trick, a little bit of mind games here. This is plenty of Corsairs to deal with these Mutalisks, and then once level one weapons is online, he should have significant air control. Archon also morphing in level one weapons, just about finished. High Templar filtering in behind it. And we do see six gateways, seven gateways in total. Curiosity building up as far as a uh, follow up. And zealots being produced up plenty in the midst of this. A photon cannon. Defensively. Striker not missing a beat, though, has immediately, yeah, just really well saturated all of his bases. And he's grabbing another hatchery in the upper left hand corner, away from Seriosity. But suggests, again, he wants to play kind of a slower economic style, then get overwhelming mass, and press the game from there. Archons and Zealots grouping up, plus level one weapons and a significant amount of Corsairs. This is going. I don't know that Striker has sufficient, unless he pockets a lot of resources. I could ser see Seriosity doing significant amounts of damage. And I take it back, he's got a bunch of Scourge out in the air. So he's going to come down to positioning, basically diving over these Archons. One Scourge, two Scourge already down. They can basically one-shot. So a Corsair grouping being escorted by Archons to the north. More Scourge being picked out of the air. That's gas that didn't want to be spent there. It looks like one Corsair 
being picked off there, but the Archons and Corsairs now being free, they're going to ignore that initial Overlord, and they're just diving up to that 12 o'clock location. One Overlord, short on life. The Hydralis are out, though. Hydralis Den is there. Hydralis Speed as well. And Seriosity cycling around, looking to find room, but without High Templar, I don't see these Zealots breaking through any location here. They're just going to have to settle for Overlord kills in the meantime. However, Striker swinging around, saying, okay, those Corsairs out of position... I'm going to go ahead and dive into the main and wreak all sorts of havoc and force these Corsair back, first of all, but also potentially get a lot of probe kills and everything else at the main. And this is what I was talking about. When Striker sees that you don't have sufficient air defense, this is the sort of shenanigans he will pull. The High Templar getting picked off in the base there. The Corsair doing some run damage. Nice split there by Striker. And the Corsair trying to do running fire as best they can. They need to be careful, though, because I think there's still some Scourge somewhere out here, but only three... Well, three Meatles is getting picked off. So not insignificant there. However, the Hydra is starting to move across the map. Seriosity does have a decent attack force out here. He is starting to group up towards the 6 o'clock location to potentially grab that as a third base. The Meatles are regrouping. They are somewhat damaged. But with these eight Meatles, it looks like they want to go ahead and I think they're looking for High Templar to pick off. High Templar, both High Templar getting picked off right there. Mules also able to pick off the Dragoon, and now softening up these Zealots. Archon's making their way back. The Corsair's making their way back as well. There are Hydralisks in between. I think they were hoping to get some free Corsair kills as the Corsairs were shifting back. This was actually a big investment with that level 1 weapons and this many Corsair to only catch a single Overlord, however. Looks like they are going to get another Overlord kill in the midst of this, but they are grouping up the upper left-hand corner. Seriosity diving with a massive amount of Zealots. It's a race to the ramp. The Hydralisks trying to engage right there. There's only two Hydralisks and a Mutalisk right there. A little bit of a roadblock there. I think Seriosity missing it, hoping that they would just walk their way up. Finally walking their way up. Two additional hatcheries being produced. The drones in flight, but a huge army of Hydralists that have level 2 weapons re-engaging. No, no support of High Templar, but they are at least going to be able to pick off a hatchery. And on top of this, in the midst of this, Seriosity is capping that 6 o'clock base. So able to slow Striker's economy down, keep his economy up, losing some... able to get maybe some Overlord kills, but losing some Corsairs in the midst of this. Is he going to be able to get a second hatchery? That would be huge. Not able to get that second hatchery. But currently, Seriosity has managed to cap the 6 o'clock location. He's not contained as of yet. He still has three Corsairs out in the air. Overlord Speed just finishing. But Striker is starting to... Unfortunately, Striker is sitting at three very well-saturated bases. I'm expecting him to resaturate that fourth fairly rapidly. And he is starting to tr transition into level 2 weapons and massive Sauron Zerg mode. However... Seriosity does have some High Templar, some Zealots, a lot of Zealots, and Dragoons to potentially engage this. Going for level 2 armor. The Corsairs streaking across the field. Potentially to provide both scouting information, maybe clear out some additional Overlords as they can. But Striker setting up a contain to the north. And Striker feeling comfortable. It looks like the Corsair was able to pick off another Overlord to keep... So that's going to keep Striker in the red. However, you can see Striker's just happy to go ahead and let Seriosity hold those three bases. He's just going to go for a massive Lurker contain in the midst of this, which is going to be very difficult to break out of. While that's happening, the Corsair are going to be able to see this approaching. It looks like he's still di he's distance mining, effectively, to the upper left-hand corner. A Dark Templar has managed to sneak out somehow. How did that Dark Templar sneak out? Honestly, that's impressive. Corsair's scouting what they can. A Queen's Nest has been plopped down in production. The Corsair is still getting value. Some Psy Storms catching a good amount of Hydrals to the north. The Dragoon's also walking forward to go ahead and break this up. But more units flooding down to reinforce. And these are level 2 weapon Hydralisks, so they can pick through, especially... It's going to be very difficult to defend these High Templar. Corsair finally getting picked off there. This Corsair not long for life, but at least being annoying in the midst of this. 
And a side storm for two hydros isn't the exchange he was looking for. He was able to get a better side storm right there. Battle drone really wants to be feisty and fight. Great side storms right there. However, striker still has a massive amount of units to filter through behind this, and is starting to get free shots at the natural. Seriosity really boxed in here, and this is what striker excels at: is these slow contains. Some zealots looking to streak across the other corner, eating a good amount of damage. It looks like some hydros are being broken off to go ahead and hunt them down. Seriosity, pretty decent army count, just running through the lurker line to go ahead and get his surround to the north, engaging, knowing that he can't afford to get boxed in. Some nice side storms in the midst of this. The zealot sweeping across, however, they've eaten a lot of zealot fire. But there's GG. Before level 2 armor, I think that was before level 2 armor came online. Could I select this? Nope, doesn't show. Seriosity, knowing once again that he was in a contained situation and getting uh, boxed in. I'm going to call the cast there. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.